Mark Gordon, GoldenTicker.com, August 31st, Friday. Uh, what a day for gold. Coming into the New York Open here, kind of drifting up to below the 1660 mark here, and then nudged up a little bit, and then, boom, somebody came in very quickly and hit, took out a bunch of stops here, and probably those same people that took out the stops reversed it up, a bunch of buy orders came in, and everybody piled on, and gold uh, uh, closed uh, the New York session, uh, still fully in an uptrend, uh, threw in a little sideways action here, and then boom, right out again to a new high, and then a little sideways action, now we're closed here. And uh, <clears throat> But what a spectacular move here. Um, what's interesting is you would think this is just, uh, you know, gold manipulation, uh, you know, uh, uh, a guy coming in, a uh, large hedge fund, whatever, coming in, knocking the price down uh, with some leverage and then, and then piling back on. And then people saw that and piled on as well. But here's the other clue. When you look at the silver market, silver did the same thing. Uh, coming up, drifting up here, a little bit of a bump here. And then, whoom, and then back right up again, and silver very strong uh, uh, into the close as well. Um, so this leads me to believe that, uh, uh, you know, the precious metals were the ones that had this kind of a big move today. And uh, this leads me to believe that there's some kind of inflationary news that the insiders were getting, possibly some kind of quantitative easing, which is uh, really just uh, uh, more money printing and announcing a big stimulus package, probably out of Europe would be my guess. Uh, precious metals really get in the bid today, which are barometers for inflation. So that would be my guess here. Uh, let's see how next week plays out, but interesting moves today in gold and silver. And right now, this is the uh, daily gold chart for the GLD, up 2.31% today on tremendous volume and uh, moving up to a new recent high here. Uh, we had gotten above this black dotted line, the 200-day moving average, pulled back in fairly light volume here, and then today was a massive up day, closing at the top of the range uh, with lots of volume. A great, great move for gold. And looking at silver here, up 4.59%. Uh, on massive volume here, the biggest up volume we've seen in a long time here, and uh, here's another big volume spike here, just a big uh, uh, fat trading range here, going to new recent highs, you can feel this cup being shaped here, racing up the right side of the cup above all key moving, moving averages now. This is the way that the metals tend to move when they move. Uh, if you've been waiting for uh, the markets to start moving higher to get in, uh, you probably got left out because when they start to run, they really run. Uh, we had been drifting down for a long time here, uh, uh, pretty much all year in both, both the silver and the gold, and kind of put in this long sideways pattern. It just seemed like gold and silver were going nowhere for a long time. And then all of a sudden, in the last couple of weeks, we've made some big, big moves. And uh, this could just be the start of something big. We never know, of course, but uh, so far, so good.